A lot to look out for. Thank you, Stephen. The Colorado Supreme Court has dealt former President Donald Trump a legal blow after declaring he is ineligible to be on that state's primary ballot and he is not eligible to be president. The move sets up a legal challenge that will make its way to the U.S. Supreme Court. Skylar Henry has more from the White House. Former President Donald Trump told voters in Iowa Tuesday that he has plans for when he gets back to the White House. We will throw off the sick political class that hates our country. But Colorado's Supreme Court has cast doubt on Trump's ability to be president again. The court declared Trump is ineligible to run again in that state, citing the Constitution's insurrection clause. That clause disqualifies officers of the United States who have engaged in insurrection or rebellion from holding office. Walk down Pennsylvania Avenue. I love Pennsylvania Avenue. And we're going to the Capitol. The Colorado court ruled four to three that Trump's actions on January 6th disqualify him to hold office again. Trump is planning to appeal the decision to the U.S. Supreme Court. We're likely to get a, a decision from the United States Supreme Court sooner rather than later. The full impact on the 2024 election won't be known until the Supreme Court weighs in. But Republicans CBS News has already spoken to all say the decision should be theirs and not Colorado's Supreme Court. I don't think with the power to take that away. Haley Cooper was on hand to hear Nikki Haley speak. When she I agreed that this is an overreach by the court. I don't think Donald Trump needs to be president. I think I need to be president. I think that's good for the country. But I will beat him fair and square. We don't need to have judges making these decisions. We need voters to have to make these decisions. Iowa voters will be the first to weigh in with the caucuses less than a month away. Skyler Henry, CBS News, the White House.